Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create animated alerts inside of the player.me editor within player create. So this is what we're going to be replicating in this video. As you can see the video comes in, then we have the, the follower name and then it animates out. Now I won't actually be showing you how to create the video part of that because it's sort of like a different topic entirely but what I will be showing you is how we can piece together a sort of pre-rendered video and the features that the player editor offers and um, putting them together and, and making a sort of dynamic funky funky looking alert. So first off I'll just show you the structure of the alert itself uh, in the editor. So it's made up of a custom video element which is the actual video itself and then additionally we actually have a folder here called name text with some text in. If I just double click that here you can see uh, the actual text is the brackets which is means that uh, whatever it uses it's, it's dynamic. Um, and then the actual folder uh, isn't really a, a normal group. It's actually a transition widget, uh, which you can actually see by the additional properties here. And we'll sort of learn how to use that uh, as we go along and make it. So I guess uh, we're technically ready. So first off, I've just created a custom blank overlay. Uh, and the first thing we'll do is we'll just add uh, an alert and we'll add the follower alert. So by default, it will come with sort of two pieces of text uh, and then services, it's selected for all. It comes with no animation, uh, duration and delay are sort of uh, yeah, set as defaults. So yep, whatever. Then we're going to add a widget, custom video, and uh, click select. Now I did actually already upload this video before, so it should be in my videos. Uh, and then we'll select that one. So by default, the uh, the video itself will loop uh, and that's not actually what we want because um, when the alert shows we don't want the, the video to finish and then start again and it will look really jumpy so we can just turn off the loop option um, from the properties. What we're actually also going to do is add a placeholder image uh, and what this means is in the editor you'll be able to see this placeholder image um, while, you, while you're not clicked on the actual video. Uh, so it's useful just to know how to position things um, and it's essentially, uh, yeah, it's just a sort of helping, a helping image. So I believe I probably have uploaded this image once before uh, and now I have to guess which one it is. Um, we're going to guess this one and then there we go. So now we have the, the placeholder image. Uh, and actually I think it's the wrong one because it's slightly off so let's go back and uh, re-add that. Uh, where was it? This one, okay. Is it the same one now? Yeah, okay, it looks a lot closer. So, custom video added. Uh, we've turned off the looping option uh, and then we're just going to actually drag that into the, into the follow alert. Uh, We'll put it at the bottom and we'll just rename this actually to be, I don't know, animated video. Cool. Uh, then the text, as for the text, we only need one line of the text. So uh, we'll just delete the other one uh, and then position, position this. Um, just move it around. Uh, we want it centered, so whatever looks right. And then we're going to change the font. Uh, maybe Orbitron will work for this. Yeah, it looks fine. Um, we'll downsize it a touch. Although maybe we don't need to. And then we're going to adjust the text, remove the extra just follow, just so we have the have the username. Okay, yeah, so we'll just put that back up to 24. And then center it, probably center it to this little nidge at the bottom. Uh, cool. So that's basically the alert. But of course, now if we just quickly preview this in the test center, uh, we'll we'll see that um, it won't look that great. And the reason is, is because now the text is there before before the overlays animated in, uh, and then we see some jumping stuff. And it, yeah, right now it looks pretty pretty terrible. So, 
we'll go back and actually I'm just gonna make this font the bolt one because or Ob Orbitron black uh, Orbitron black I think the bolder ones nicer and then just reposition it again uh, anyway so first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set the duration of the alert so this is kind of based on how long the video is so I already know how long the video is so I'm just gonna set this this value to to nine so now we won't get the alert just randomly pop out uh, midway through uh, and then what we're gonna need to do is add a transition widget so this is the widget that allows you to um, animate in and animate out pretty much any widget that exists in the player editor uh, obviously in this case we're going to be using text uh, and then it also allows you to set a delay so you can sort of uh, mix and match this widget and um, yeah you can achieve some pretty cool stuff so I put the text here but what we're actually going to do is put this first line text and we'll just actually change this to username because in reality that's what it is and we're actually going to rename this as well uh, and actually we'll preface it with transition so it's a bit more obvious and then we'll put transition uh, text whatever doesn't matter so now we're going to put that inside of the alert and what we need to do now is we need to set a duration and delay to have it animating and out at the perfect time now I actually do have values already for this so I can sort of get it to time right uh, but usually it might be a case of trial and error or if you open up your uh, video editor where you've created the actual video part of the alert um, you can just sort of look at the timeline and, and get an idea of uh, what those values need to be so in this case I'm gonna set a delay of 2500 milliseconds which means once this follower alert plays in the transition widget is going to delay for 2.5 seconds, 2,500 milliseconds before it actually does the transition in. Uh, and then we need to make it last for a certain amount of time. Uh, if you leave it at zero, it will just stay in forever. Setting a duration will then mean that after that time, it will then do the transition out. Uh, and then we'll set the transition in to be fade in. Uh, okay and then the transition out to be fade out cool select right so now in theory if we go to the test center everything fingers crossed should uh, should work so animation in video the delay on the text uh, then the duration of the text means it then fades out and then out goes the video so boom there you go pretty simple not a line of code needed uh, and you could sort of stack these however you want you could have a, a, a transition widget inside of a transition widget with images and uh, text and sort of any other element that exists uh, and just sort of get a bit wild and wacky and build out how you want so uh, additionally just in case you didn't know uh, you can actually add audio to alerts uh, so this will play in. You could also add the the uh, the audio to the video itself as well, which means then when the video plays, you'll get the audio as well. Um, and then yeah, that's a that's essentially it. So I hope you I hope you found it useful. Um, and I'll probably make more videos in the future showing you know little tips and tricks that you can actually do in the player editor that people might not know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.